The advanced search features within Google are quite useful for academic research because they will allow you to filter your search results and control what you see. As an example, I'm going to search for poverty health because I want to find information about the links between poverty and health. This finds me 429 million results. I'm sure a lot of them are very helpful, but the advanced search features will allow me to filter that and have a little bit more control. You get to that through the settings menu. Um, if you're using the web version of um, Google, um, then that is the cog icon at the top right of the screen. I select settings and go to advanced search, or of course you can bookmark the advanced search page. First of all, it shows you options for um, how you want Google to interpret the words that you've put in. So you can tell it that you want an exact word or phrase. So that doesn't make any sense for poverty health because without other words around it, that doesn't make much sense. Um, you can say any of these words if there's more than one word for the same thing and you want to cover your bases and make sure that Google searches for both or all three of them. You can use none of these words if you want to exclude something from your search. But what I'm going to focus on is the next bit down, um, which is how you can narrow your results. So there's quite a number of ways to do this. You can do it by the language, by the region, which is which country um, the page that you find is from, uh, last updates, which allows you to find things from the last day, week, month or year, if you're looking for something that's quite up to date and current. Um, and then I'll skip towards the end and work back. Um, usage rights is if you want to find um, things which are free to use, to reuse. Um, safe search is exactly what we would expect it to be, I think. Um, terms appearing is where you want the words to be on a page. Um, and file type allows you to narrow your results to things like PDF documents, which, which is the format that things like um, research reports from charities and governments would come in, um, and journal articles and things like that. Um, and Microsoft PowerPoint, for instance. So if you wanted to find a presentation on a particular topic, you can use the Google Advanced Search to narrow it down in that way. So I'm going to choose PDF. And that has still found an awful lot of documents, um, but these are all in the PDF format, if that is what I wanted. With this sort of topic, it would probably be more sensible to be a little bit more focused with the search as well, because the links between poverty and health are very broad. The final thing is site or domain. What this does is that it will filter your search to um, particular types of web page. For instance, I can choose ac.uk, which is UK based universities. So um, this has found a whole load of web pages from different uh, academic institutions in the UK, mostly universities, also things like research councils, learned societies, uh, professional bodies and things like that. So I start with Bristol University and then a whole load of other um, universities and research organisations um, are coming up. Um, just as with any other search, though, um, you can get adverts, um, which are not necessarily um, commercial products, but they're just pages uh, which have paid to come up in the search results. Um, but they will always be marked with ad. Um, you could also do nhs.uk, which would filter it down to um, pages from the NHS, both at a local, local and national level, um, or you could um, use it to filter it to government pages. So for example, I could filter it to pages from the Australian government, gov.au, um, where pages are always going to be Australian government pages. Um, and I've got things from Tasmania, um, I've got things from South Australia, and so on um, in my search results here. So using this um, advanced search page can be really helpful for how you want Google to interpret the words that you've put in, but also how you want Google to narrow your results, whether that's by the language or a part of the world, a type of web page, um, a type of document, how recent they are, and so on. So it gives you a lot more control over your search.